Namaste everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Dr. Vishay Kumar. Today we are going to learn about the histology of lymph node. Here we are making a structure of efferent lymphatic vessels with the valves and venules and arterioles in the connective tissues. We will level one by one. This is the connective tissue where the arterioles and venules are present. Here we will level connective tissue. A layer of connective tissue with venules and arterioles surrounded by lymph node capsule. This is the connective tissue. Here we will write efferent lymphatic vessel this is the efferent lymphatic vessels collected lymph enter the lymph node via efferent lymphatic vessel that penetrate the capsule of the convex surface connective tissue tuberculae arising from the inner surface of the capsule this one is capsule and here will level as venules and arterioles which are present in the connective tissue arterioles and venules here we are making the structure of connective tissue tuberculae connective tissue tubercula is also a point to identify the lymph node one of the point to identify the lymph node is the connective tissue tubercula it arises from the inner surface of the capsule of the connective tissue tubercula and it contains numerous blood vessels which associated with the connective tissue tubercula you can see here numerous blood vessels are present in the tubercular here we will level the connective tissue tubercular this is the structure of connective tissue connective tissue trabecula and here the numerous blood vessels are present blood vessels in the trabecula now we are making the subcapsular sinuses subcapsular sinuses is also called as marginal sinuses the other name for the subcapsular sinuses is marginal sinuses is subcapsular or marginal sinuses the cortex of the lymph node is separated from the connective tissue capsule by subcapsular sinuses here is trabecular or cortical sinuses the cortex consists of lymphatic nodules situated adjacent to the each other but incompletely separated by internodular connective tissue that is trabeculae and the trabecular or cortical sinuses here we are making the germinal center of lymphatics each lymph node contain an outer cortex and an inner medulla some lymphoids nodules exhibit lighter staining center area called germinal center one point that exhibit an outer dark staining cortex and inner light staining medulla is present high endothelial venules present in other lymphoid organs except spleen and network of reticular fibers and spherical non-encapsulated 
aggregation of lymphocytes called the lymphoid nodules or lymphatic nodules so lymphatic nodules are having a network of reticular fibers and aspherical and non encapsulated aggregation of lymphocytes called the lymphatic nodules here comes the germinal center when section through the middle lymphatic nodules exhibit a central light staining germinal center surrounded by deeper staining peripheral portion of the nodules here is germinal center germinal center of lymphatic nodules this one is the paracortex paracortex is also known as deep cortex the deep portion of lymph node cortex is the paracortex here we will write the para cortex it is also called as deep cortex this area is the thymus dependent zone and primarily occupied by t cells here is the medullary cord this is the transitional area from the lymphatic nodules to the medullary cord of the lymph node medulla medullary cord are the network of reticular fibers filled with plasma cells macrophages lymphocytes separated by capillary like channel here you can see the capillary like channels which contain lots of blood vessels that's numerous blood vessels are present in the capillary like channels this channel is called medullary sinuses so once again the medullary cords are the network of reticular fibers filled with the plasma cells macrophages and lymphocytes separated by capillary like channel called the medullary medullary sinuses so this complete the histology of lymph node and to identification point here you can see the identification point first one is germinal center of lymphatic nodules medullary sinuses then medullary cord then trabecular sinuses paracortex you can see afferent lymphatic vessels are also present and lymphatic nodules these are the identification point for the histology of lymph node thank you very much please do like subscribe our channel